Hello everyone, my name is Payal and I am an integrated PhD student in Biological Sciences at IISC Bangalore. So, uh, in this video, I just want to make you aware of several uh, exams which will help you to continue uh, your higher education or will help you to make a career in life science in India. So, uh, I was also... Uh, a life science graduate so i have given these exams and of course after several interview rounds i i, I got admitted into iisc and i am pursuing my higher education here so if you are interested to make your career in life science in india so uh, these exams are a boon for you and you should make use of these opportunities so that you could uh, make a better career as compared to others so uh, without getting further delay let's get started so in this video i'll be uh, talking about some of the major exams that you should target to get into a uh, life size career i mean uh, for the admissions or for getting psus or or uh, if you want to pursue your career in research etc so these exams will be helpful so let's talk about these exams so first and the foremost exam is iit jam so uh, as we know that uh, it its eligibility is bachelor's degree in any field if even if you are from zoology biotechnology chemistry or any other stream like mathematics or so you are eligible for this iit jam exam uh, iit jam exam is uh, conducted in several disciplines like iit jam biology biotechnology i mean biology that is biotechnology uh iit gem chemistry iit gem physics math so depending upon your bachelor's uh you can uh, give any exam you want so uh, the minimum eligibility for this exam is the bachelor's degree in any of the science discipline and uh 55 percent marks for general category in their graduation and 50% for the SCST and PWB categories. Important dates are registration will start in September and the last date for the registration usually uh, be in October every year uh, and exam date is usually in the second week of February and results are mostly announced in March uh, month. Organizing body varies year to year but uh, this time it is it might be conducted by iit madras so benefits of this exam is basically it will help you to get admission into msc joint msc phd or msc phd dual degrees or pg programs like masters in biotechnology or computational biology biosciences etc in iits and iits and ICERs. there are uh, several other institutes like nizers etc who also uh, accept the ranks rankers from iit jam uh, if you want to get to new which are the exams uh, i mean which are the institute that accept the, uh, the rank of iit jam so you can check out another video uh, titled uh, don't forget to uh, apply for these institutes after giving iit jam so i have made already uh, a video regarding this so you can check out that video in case you want so the next exam is GAT B. GAT B is uh, is it's also you can say analogous exam to IIT jam, but uh, via GAT B, uh, you can get into IIT Indore or uh, and uh, some other institutes also like RCB. These are also prestigious institutes, and eligibility is the similar to IIT jam. That is a bachelor's degree in any relevant life science field, and the specific eligibility criteria may be different. Like some institutes might de demand uh, mathematics in your ten plus two, or some depending upon the uh, course. Like if it is a computational, they might require mathematics in your um, I mean your UG degree. So important dates are like registration will start in February, exam will be in April. And uh, the results might be announced in May or in between June. Organizing what is RCB. And the benefits is like uh, your PG program will be supported up, uh, by DPT. You will be getting scholarship. And yes, uh, not, I mean, you have to pay fees and all. Uh, but 
to some extent it will be supported by db uh, the next exam is gate bt uh, gate bt is a i mean if you are from a 3 years uh, bachelor program then there are limited institutes which uh, which accept gate bt rankers so uh, if you are a 3 year bachelors person then uh, you should focus on iit exam get uh, get b and gate bt uh, you can also get uh, via gate bt you can get admission into iisc nizer and icas kolkata it runs a joint program with iit kharagpur so these two three institutes uh, accept uh, rankers from gate bt and gate axel uh but the rest of this the gate bt is majorly for the people who want to pursue phd or who want to uh, get jobs into psus so these and if you want to phd uh, do phd in from isc iit etc the gate uh, via gate if and if you have cracked gate then you will be given scholarship your phd will be supported if you have qualified gate uh, but not in the other institutes like if you have qualified gate and you will pursue your phd in some other institute other than iit and isc then uh, it won't be supported okay uh, so eligibility is similar btech people can also give this exam master's degree or the person who have given uh, i mean final year student can also apply in the three year bsc program or four year even so uh, Registration will start in August, exam is in February, and the results will be declared in March. Um, the next exam is Gate Axel. It is similar to Gate BT. Slabus is a bit different. Uh, not very much different, but uh, yes, in Gate BT, engineering mathematics is there. But in Gate Excel, uh, instead of that, uh, you, you will find some chemi chemistry based questions also. Uh, similarly, the registration is in uh, August or September. February is the exam month. March is the result. And benefits are similar to Gate BT, but mostly, uh, I mean, it, it focuses on life sciences. Uh, and the next exam is GNCSR. Uh, for this, you must have, a, uh, I mean, GNCSR is an is an prestigious institute in Bangalore. So if you want to get into uh, their PG programs or the PhD programs, you have to either qualify any of the national level exam uh, for in PhD and uh, MSc. They usually prefer the people who have qualified uh, IIT exam. So uh, after that, you will apply on their website and they'll conduct a separate exam, their own exam. It will be online. And then later on, if you'll crack those exam, uh, that exam, and then they'll call you for an offline interview. And after the interview, you might be shortlisted for the uh, program and will be admitted into the institute. Uh, your master's degree won't be supported by fellowship, but you're in PhD. Uh, if you get into in PhD program, that will be supported by a fellowship. So very decent amount of fellowship. So yes, you can go for this exam if you want to pursue a career in research. Eligibility is bachelor's degree. Specific requirements may vary from, I mean, Mostly, they run a interdisciplinary kind of master's degree. So, uh, so there may be specific requirements. But uh, yes, you can. Uh, life is graduates are eligible for this exam. So the exam dates and results they vary because I mean it it varies depending upon the IT exam timeline. It varies. So the next exam is AIMS AIMS Biotechnology exam. It it um, AIMS offer a uh, few of the MSc courses in life science field. So therefore it conducts if separate entrances for that. So bachelor's degree, if you have done your bachelor's in science, you can all you can always apply for AIMS exams also. Our registration is in February, exam did mostly in uh, May, June. I mean, it varies usually. Due to COVID, the things have messed up. But yeah, now it is on track, but still you can't track. Results are usually in June, July or so organizing bodies aims benefit is like you can get into admission uh, uh you can get admission into their uh, msc programs in aims uh and apart from that there is one more exam called fsci uh bachelor's degree is required there are few positions 
which may require MSc and PhD. In, like it is not an annual exam. They whenever there are vacancies, they uh, sent a notification that they then they started registration for the exam. Exam date results, everything varies. So uh, parallelly prepare for these exams if you are interested to get into food safety and standard authority of India administration. So uh, of benefits are like you can make a career in your in the food department. Uh, another one is bark. Uh, for this, uh, master's degree is important, uh, but in some posts, bachelor's degree is also considered. So for this, uh, it is optional to crack gate, but of course it will give you an edge. Bark will conduct its own exam, uh, usually in the May or June, and the result will be, it varies actually, July or so. Um, it's you can always check the official websites. I have mentioned the links. Benefits are like you can make your career in nuclear sciences, biosciences, and uh, there are several research upon opportunities which it provides. So you can always make use of that. So benefits of these exams in one line is they they'll provide you career opportunities in academia, research, or industry. Uh, also it'll they'll some of the exams. If you crack some of the exams, you will be your higher education uh, will be financially supported, and uh, of course the professional growth and networking is an edge. So yes, it, it it's always beneficial to sit for our national level exams. So the conclusion is that make sure you in, you are informed about these exams and you know that their registration registration deadlines and their exam dates etc. What are what are the benefits to give these exams and select the exams which you think will help you in making your career. I encourage all licensed graduates to take advantage of these opportunities so that they can excel well in their career. So with this note, I just want to make pass on an information that uh, uh, the website I have made is Cybits. And in this website, I provide exciting contents like um, some of the uh, summaries of the articles in science and also you can practice free mock tests for these exams and chapter wise practice sheets for these exams which i mentioned earlier like iit jam gat p and all um this I, i'm still updating the website but uh, yeah you uh, i have uploaded several quizzes so you can make use of that so with this note i end this video so thank you so much for patience listening and watching also. Uh, wishing you a, a great career ahead. Goodbye. See you soon.